dusk gazes out the window, looking over the hospital that saved her brother's arm, and anger stirs within her. You could have waited, you know? I just need it a little longer. You don't think that I know that? You're not the only one that gets to risk yourself. I was alone far longer than you know. Well, you're not anymore, are you? And we should keep our voices down. Food person's in the other room. That equipment he's wearing looks strong. You should take it for yourself. I'm not... No, but I'm not against looking around still. And who knows, I might be able to convince him to teach us a thing or two. And yeah, I know that I'm playing into the delusion, but with all this doom and gloom, it's nice to have a little break. Some hero, locked up here all by himself. Elliot, drop it. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. No hope. Where there is a little bit of hope that we may just be able to get some training from Food Person. As it seems restarting the game does kind of fix some of the issues that I was having with trading and equipping and everything. So we'll see how that goes. For this moment though, we are going to be opening this window, clambering out an interesting, hmm. We have a smashed window here and there's a barricaded door on the other side. Are you hiding something, food person? Let's see, it's just a bathroom from what we're able to make out so far. So let's go into the construction menu here. We're gonna clean up this broken window. It's gonna take a little bit. It's gonna hurt Dusk's skin, but we can get inside here and see if there's anything. Homeopathic pills, some narrow spectrum antibiotics, which I think we're actually doing okay on at the moment. And there's nothing else in here, nothing hidden. Food person has no secrets, Elliot. See, he's just a normal superhero man. Yeah? <laughs> and as I said, I'm pretty sure that we should be able to talk to him and convince him to maybe teach Dusk a thing or two about spellcraft. Actually, you know what? Before that, we will try trading, if possible. And it seems like, yes, he is willing to trade, although won't be getting rid of any of this equipment here. Willing to trade the baseball bat that he's currently wielding. And of course, we could sell some of our own things here. Yeah. I, I think we're going to be okay. I think we're good in that regard. But I still wouldn't mind trying to see if you'll teach us something. You're not ready for this. <laughs> okay. Well, that did get our social skill up a little bit higher. All right. Well, food person, we will, <laughs> we will leave you to it. Actually, let's just size food person up here. Seemingly quite strong and reasonably dexterous. Okay. Well, good for you, food person. As much as I'd like to stick around here, we can't. We gotta get going. Well, in saying that, we don't have to get going. We could stay here for a little bit, let the sun set so that we get a chance to make our way on over towards the attunement altar without too much trouble. One of the main reasons why I was wanting to get to the cathedral was so that I could see the surrounding area. And it would for sure allow us to see a lot more because we could see all the way up towards Brewster from this cathedral here. So it is still very tempting. However, things are a little wild outside and our, our longsword is still out there on the street. I think as long as we take things slowly, we should be okay. And you know what? I'm going to have a look at the weight of the things that we have in our inventory at the moment and just decide what we want to try and get rid of. Like this, like the CRC handbook here we can probably have a look at just digitizing that same with the archery anatomy let's actually pop back upstairs and do that let's close that door we'll just use a little bit of your light here if that's okay lad and we'll actually just crouch down on the chair just so we're less visible in general okay tablet pc let's go and store some books and it looks like we can store all of these here um we're gonna store everything it's gonna take two hours and 35 seconds to do this I'm okay with that. All right, there we go. We have all of those digitized now. It's just before midday at the moment. Let's just have a look at that now. See what we've got stored in here and what we're actually going to be able to read. We can get our vehicle skills up, our social skill, devices, applied science. We can get that all the way up to six. Same thing with tailoring. Excellent. We've got lots of things that we can study here, which I'm very, very happy about. Scroll of Purification Seed is one of those things, but we're not going to study that with Dusk. And yes, I will make sure that Elliot does spend some time reading that again, because you, you can read it again and again to be able to learn how to, to cast it properly. Oh, we can see a skeletal zombie now. Whereabouts are you? Quite a distance 
to the north. Okay, that's fine. Well, just having a look over the rest of our wounds that we've bandaged up, they're still looking really good. So I want to try and see if we can keep it that way. But before we leave here, we will gift those books that we've gotten. We're going to gift those books we've digitized to Food Person. Oh, and let's read that uh, Brewster roadmap as well, just in case. There we go. Does that help us anymore? Oh, indeed it does. Wow. Okay. Yet again, we can see that much further. Seeing regional schools in the distance. And what's good about the roadmap is that it does actually show us where all of the subway stations are. And there's many of them dotted around here. We've got a town hall out here near Huntington. Just oh, the mega city, the sprawl. It is unreal. Oh, and you know what? Can we, we can use this vending machine. Okay, well, I'm fine with us using some of our stored up money to go and grab some of these the cider that's gonna stay though in dusk we can probably knock so actually no you're turgid at the moment we won't worry about that oh yes we have butter and we have cheese now as well because i traded with elliot uh we're actually gonna knock back some of those hard cheeses get those calories up yeah there you go dusk we'll go for some candy as well nice Right, so one of the main things that's weighing us down at the moment is landmines. Uh, we've got quite a few landmines, probably more than we need, really. And also just, you know, bottles and other little bits of waste that we can probably try and get rid of. Okay, so having dropped off a few landmines here, <laughs> gifts for food person, uh, we can carry on with us not suffering from having our pack over our carry weight. That's going to make things a lot better for Dusk. I mean, just when it comes to encumbrance, for one, but also it just means that by moving around, she isn't going to be getting super, super tired. Okay, all right, back out into the streets, and immediately we do have some zombies that are around. Okay, Elliot, if you could come on over here and assist us, we're going to continue to slice and dice and check them out when they're on the ground. The zombie child, we're going to have to let Elliot fight that one for us. We'll just stay away from that awful sun. There we go, Elliot. Nicely done. Okay, what else have we got down here? Now, ideally, we are not going to be hanging out in the sunshine. We've got some Prussian blue in here. We'll go and grab those. The SWAT zombie, you're a decent distance away right now. I'd like to try and just get on over towards the sword. Oh boy. <laughs> but we have quite a few dead here, it would seem. Um, right. Far hand, we can grab it. Okay. We got the sword. We just need to activate our sheath, put that away, and wield that long sword. Right. Okay. So we've got a bit of a conga line going at the moment. Let's just make our way back into the alley. Because that way we can control the amount that are seeing us at any one time. And we let them start to approach. Okay. <laughs> Disappearing into the trash for a moment there. All right. We sent that one reeling backwards. Dusk. Good work. Slash. Slash. Okay. We're going to move up towards the top now. Take down that zombie as it gets closer. We still don't see that SWAT zombie yet. The howling waif, the little kid is going to be making a lot of noise right now. Elliot has taken it down though, which is great. We're just going to quickly check these bodies here. The adhesive bandages are still useful, so we'll grab them. And we'll just see what else comes our way. We are ready to run as soon as we need to. Right now, we still have this under control. Okay, so <laughs> a lot of stuff has been coming from the north. So we want to be wary of that. I'm probably just going to peek around the corner if possible. Looks like most of it has already come this way. I still don't see that SWAT zombie though, so it means out here somewhere and gosh, they can see us from a decent distance away, ha. Huh? All the way to the north and over towards the west. We're going to continue over towards the west though, because the alleyways are going to be better for us to be in, in general, if we can. So let's keep on moving, because if we can just break the line of sight, they're going to have a harder time finding us just in general. Although, in saying all of this, Oh man, there are some spent casings down here in this library. I would really like to get to that library. We've just got an empty commercial lot between us and it. There's a house down there as well. Okay, ah boy. Um, let's just let's just move with a bit of caution. We got technicians over there, quite a few dead. Okay. So, we might want to try and use the stores if we can. I think that's gonna be a bit of a safer method for us to uh move around we can use the darkness and in general dusk is going to be more comfortable in this darkness as well we can peer out that window down the bottom where's that zombie going to go up the top we'll see it's probably going to see us in a moment or two um, what have we got out down this way not much so far okay uh we got a little bit more 
but that's nothing that we can't handle. Brainless zombies, regular zombies, the grabber, or no, it's a shrieker, that will bring a fair bit of attention our way, but it could be worth it for a library. So I want to try and bring some of the dead on over towards us, let them see us. They are making their way on over now, and we have some coming from the north as well. I'm going to have to let Elliot take care of those ones for the moment. And Dusk, you're going to be slashing at this one when it comes through the window. I'm not so concerned about our encumbrance yet, but we'll see. <laughs> so far, so good. Step up Dusk, nicely done. Okay, all right, peaking. Uh, things are still looking pretty good here. All right, I do want to let them see Dusk, start making your way on over. Okay, Elliot, you stay with us as well. Let's actually drop the backpack now. I think we've got enough time to make this work. Shrieker is shrieking, doing what it does best. So other things are going to start to follow. We're just gonna to continue to send them reeling back through the window. Dusk holding her ground, staying steady. The brainless zombies we're gonna to have to be a little bit more aggressive with. But there we go, that's them dealt with. Now the kid, let's back up and let Elliot do what Elliot does. Come on, there we go. Thank you very much, Mr. Wood. We've got a boomer and a crawling zombie now. The boomer is going to be a little bit more of a problem for us to deal with. But then again, yes and no. Um, we can just pop it when it's close to us. We just, we may get covered in guts. We could try Mind Hammer. No, it's too difficult. <laughs> there is no way for us to cast that at this stage, unfortunately. Let's just try and get it to come through the window at us. It does not want to yet. Come on. Can you not go through the window? You might not be able to. It might be classified as being too big to climb through it. It's entirely possible. Elliot, stick with me for now then. Um, of course, we still have the, the backpack that we need to pick up, but we'll just deal with uh, this one here. Come on, let's go. There we are. All right, and here we go. Boomer, we're gonna slam you against the wall for shove. Bam, gotcha. Now decayed zombie, or rather crawling zombie, will take you, and my gosh, we will take all of those rounds. 187, hot damn. That is very good, that is very, very good. Okay, got a few more zombies here. Let's just kind of hang out by our brother. Let them make their way on over towards us. There we go. All right, I'm tempted to go and get that backpack back, but we'll just wait, take care of this last one here. Step up, step up, get knocked down. Okay, yeah, oh, that was a very, very nice amount of ammunition for us there. Okay, so things are looking much clearer at the stage. That's the house that's across the road. So now the library should just be a little bit further at this stage. Okay, and we are starting to get a little bit more surrounded. We'll drop the backpack again. Just get ready to fight here. Okay, come on. Uh, Elliot, taking out the kid right away. Wonderful work. Okay, tough zombie, not a problem. Regular zombie, let's see how we do. Dusk. Excellent. We can see that there is a zombie blank around here somewhere. It's probably going to make its way on over towards us. Not so concerned yet. But, you know, it sees us. It sees us and it is getting closer. And it's going to do some weird pain stuff to us, I think, more than likely. There we are. A dull sense of pain. But very quickly, we take that down. Oh, that's our backpack there. Okay, let's not get too excited. Uh, we do have a listener that's hanging around and a regular zombie. Let's get that backpack back on, though. A sudden sense of regaining something you had lost. Okay, good. So whatever effect we had on us before seems to have passed. I like it. Okay, we've cleared those bodies. Let's move on over towards the home here. And we might as well have a quick little search through here, see if there's anything interesting in this home. We definitely want to check out the basement. I'm just trying to decide if we want to try and smash our way into this bedroom. Not much going on in it, so I'm not convinced. That is... A children's tricycle that is very, very destroyed. Yeah, not much else here. Okay, so, basement then. Oh, okay, we've got two different doors here, and immediately, we have a cockroach. Okay, let's just smash that to pieces. Ah, uh, and we got more. More roaches, where that came from. Elliot, give us a hand if you can. Let's just move back here. Elliot, thank you. Wonderful. Smash these bodies. Okay, and let's check these boxes. Sealed gallon jug of ammonia. A leather backpack as well as a sewing kit. We're okay for sewing kits and stuff like that at the moment. It's another cockroach down and another cockroach approaching. Smash them and just check the rest of the basement here. Not expecting too much, but it does give us a chance to maybe try and um, clean Elliot's backpack that he's got because I believe it is filthy. Let's move back here, deal with it together. And I think that's one roach left in the corner there we go okay so we've got the furnace here got the water heater which does actually have water in it okay nice 
so let's see i think the easiest way to do this is probably just going to be dropping the the washboard so that elliot can, elliot can pick it up or the washing kit there we go we'll drop the detergent as well excellent and elliot's okay dusk is eating <laughs> eating butter reloading her glock okay that's all good and well um okay candle let's get you lit just so we can see what we're doing here we're going to activate the washing kit and let's clean that large tactical backpack or rather we won't we need way more water to be able to do that so i guess let's just clean the canteen for now because all right we might as well yeah there's no other water down here other than this one thing so okay all right well that's that's fine let's extinguish it i don't think it bothers elliot all that much and we're just going to go and grab those things back dusk excellent okay let's get back up to the surface now the library i would like to try and approach it from here if possible oh we got a howling waith elliot if you would thank you poor kid okay um yeah let's just smash this glass that's fine yes we're making noise i'm okay with that we do have some technicians that we can see up to the north and there are actually books in here by the looks of things wild cooking on a budget bon appetit we're gonna take that thank you Engineering 301, concrete constructions, ha 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 ha. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, right. We're gonna start taking this. Robots for fun and profit as well. Biodiesel handbook, biofuel productions. This is just fantastic. Uh, we've already got that so far. Essential oil enthusiasts handbook. Plans for a radio repeater mod, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to try and remember what we have picked up so far, because we haven't read over many of them that's just so many four fun books that could give us a lot of entertainment we are already doing pretty good in that regard so i'm not that concerned about it multimedia computing we don't have that yet internal combustion fundamentals we'll grab that mechanical mastery hot damn metallurgy yes <laughs> yes 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 so good it looks like all the books along here are kind of just for fun from what we can see so far yeah i think that's the case all right so let's check these other shelves then Autobiography of a Mountain Man and Outdoor Adventures. Yes, we've spotted its technician, but it's far enough away that I'm not concerned yet. Crafty Crafters Quarterly. Historic Warfare and Pro Hacker Secrets. Yeah, hot damn. This library makes up for the libraries that have been lost. Arms and Armor, some more armor smithing things, Fletcher's Friends, Tools and Warfare of the Arabic World. Gosh, Antique Adornments and Historic Weaponsmithing. This library has been phenomenally good for us. What a find. Okay, we're gonna mark this as explored because we've gotten all the things of value that we really want from it. Um, now, it's 11.43 at the moment. We could spend some time just putting those books into our tablet PC. How long is it gonna to take to do all of them? Seven hours, and we don't have the charge to do that either. <laughs> um, so, how much time are we willing to spend? Maybe an hour? So we could do, we could do some of them. At least an hour and 30 minutes. Let's go for that. Oh, and we're tired at the moment. We've spotted a zombie. Stop taking pictures of books. Ignore it. It's dangerously close. Let's kill that thing. Okay, I'd say that that's probably as far as we're going to get. So having a look through our books now, we should have some that are either kind of grayed out or yeah, like this. So we can now drop them off because we've taken pictures of them already. Okay. Yeah, we are well overweight at the moment. Um... <laughs> because we've got so many books in our backpack. But that sounds like a pretty good problem to have. Now, from this position here, I would very much like to try and get up towards the cathedral. I think going around the outside is probably going to be the best thing for us. We will smash this window, which will probably draw anything else that's around to us. We do have one zombie that's making its way on over. And, oh, we got a nice fenced off... Um, property down beneath us whenever i see those it always makes me think of luna's house and some of the magical houses that we've seen so far i'm half tempted to check it out damn we took a little bit of damage there okay what else have we got we got a grappler we have a tough zombie down that way it's not the goal but if we do just try it but if we do jump the fence then well we'll be able to have a quick look at it elliot move into assist us if you could thank you very much my brother okay um yeah i think i think i'd like to see oh that runner came right for elliot damn okay the grappler is is trying to reach out from all the way over there excellent we'll take those pretzels from you and that decayed zombie got up to us pretty quickly thank you elliot let's finish grabbing those pretzels okay all right making our way down what have we got going on 
Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice looking home. Fat zombie. Hi, let's take you out. Sounds like we've got someone else in here. Someone that's going to smash out in a second. It's an acidic zombie. Okay. <laughs> it's over very quickly for the acidic zombie. Let's take those alcohol wipes from here. Okay, and into the home we go. We're probably going to have to wait soon just because uh, dusk is getting weighed down by all that weight. Ah, uh, we have an upstairs, not a downstairs. So this probably is not a magical house, but seen as we're in here, it's probably still worth us having a look at things. The sling pack is a really good runner's bag for us. It's, I mean, it's not a runner's pack, but it works very similar. It doesn't have a lot of weight to it. It is a good option for us, certainly. Come on, make your way on over. Let's get rid of you. There's a shocker kind of nearby, which I don't want to hang around to fight. So let's look at maybe making our way up towards the top. We'll check this garage first though, and just whatever's in the back of this. Got flares and water purification tablets. Let's keep moving, Elias. Okay, more water down here by the looks of things. 98. Damn, that's pretty good, but we need a little bit more than that though, don't we? And you know what? We would actually have access to it here, so Elliot might be able to get that backpack cleaned. It was like 150 that he needed though, so no, he'd need even more than that. You need a few of them right next to each other, really. Okay, so we're going to quickly check the upstairs here. Oh, it's quite a small upstairs. All right, but that does give us an opportunity to catch our breath before we head back down. And let's head back on outside, eh? And from here, we are going to try and take a little bit of a wider berth around here and head up towards the private park and then towards the cathedral. Because right now, it's still early afternoon and that's going to give us all the sight we could possibly need. Okay, um... All right, let's just clamber over the fence if we can. We can. We spotted a brainless zombie in the distance. And who else? Just a single brainless zombie. Okay, catch your breath back, Dusk. And let's clamber over that fence. Make sure that Elliot is indeed following us. And then let's continue on over towards the west. Quite a few dead up there. So yeah, let's stay just a little bit further on the outside of town just to be safe and we can see the attunement altar all the better well we can't see it on the map yet but we can see that it's four squares at the least it's a reasonably sized structure um this house up here we've got okay <laughs> we've got boarded windows we also have a lot of activity in there by the sounds of things so let's just back up again let that decayed zombie come on over towards us. There is a batwing zombie somewhere. Ah, right there. Okay, well, let's just uh, let that hit in our direction. Slice it down. And before we go any further, let's get our breath back. Skeletal zombie, oh no, the swimmer, is right on us. So backing up here, Dusk. Let it stand in and continue catching your breath. Lots of noises in that house. Probably don't want to find out what's in there really. The front doors are locked as well. We could pry the windows open, but for now, oh boy. Okay, the cathedral. We're going to have a considerable amount of dead outside of here, so we're probably going to want to try and drop off the, ha the hiking backpack just so that we have a bit of a better chance to fight them. And let's try and see if we can get them a little bit more split up. Let's head around this corner here. Elias, follow me, thank you. And let's face them when they come around the corner. The firefighter zombie is going to have a little bit more protection. Not enough though. Okay. And so far we've managed to be able to get them one by one. Although that might not last. I mean, no. <laughs> that worked out absolutely perfectly. Couldn't have asked for that to go better. Very good Dusk. And of course, very good Elliot. We've got our breath back. Let's make our way back up towards the backpack. Unfortunately, damn, the longsword is a little injured. It's still very good. I say, I keep saying injured. It's damaged. These aren't living things, even though Elliot might think that they are. Okay, here we go. Let's just let them head in our direction again, and then we'll just bring them down along the side of the private park. Come on, let's keep on going. Keep on moving. And this way, we are controlling the amount that are going to see us at any one time. They're going to step around the corner, <laughs> right into the kill zone. Oh, okay. And we have ourselves a spitter. Okay, we will adjust if we need to. It doesn't look like we need to. The bodies are piling up. Elias, let's just navigate around that there. Okay, good, good. And there are still more out there, it seems. Okay, but we should be able to face them here without too much trouble. I say that, but those numbers are starting to grow a little bit more than I would like. Let's just go nice and slow, controlled. Got a feral charging out to meet us. Come on, let's take that out. Second that we get a chance, Elliot's taking out the other. Stepping in, the tough zombie is down. We've got ourselves a grappler here. 
which is trying to pull us in. All right. Ow. Damn. Good strike to the torso. It pulled us all the way away from Elliot, but we got there in the end, and it even pulled the weapon from our hands. Now, I am just going to put in a quick save here before we try and wield this weapon. Uh, no, it seems like we're okay. And we'll check over the bodies. We have some marijuana and an unread card. And we also have a few single rounds tucked away here. Some drinks as well as some alcohol wipes. No, that's... <laughs> that's our hiking backpack, Rikon. Don't mind me, don't mind me. We'll grab a few of those extra things and we will take out these stragglers before we try and pick up our backpack. Come on, let's take you out. Take out that listener too. Let's smash that feral and pick up our backpack. Okay, all right, towards the cathedral we go. And let's maybe go a little bit more to the west because it seems like we've dealt with most of the ones to the west. We are going to have to deal with the ones that have started making their way on over from the east though. There we are, that's a swimmer down. Excellent. And let's go for this one here before it starts making too much noise. There we are. We actually started getting uh, warm now. Our torso is getting warm. Keep that in mind. Okay, fair bit of noise going on inside here. Um, we do want to try and just get into one of the towers sooner rather than later. We don't want this place to be a base. So we kind of just want to see what's going on. Oh, there's quite a bit going on up there. So we don't want to fight a load of dead for no reason. We are going to have to fight those three at the least though. Okay, all right. Here we go, stepping in. Dusk, good work. And Elliot, you're going to have to take care of that kid for us. Wonderful. Okay, we've got a hazmat zombie and a regular to take on out. Here we go. First one down. Hazmat's down. Okay, let's get on over towards the building now. And let's see. This is going to be a tower over here, isn't it? So, Dusk, let's get that stamina back first of all. We've spotted a zombie. Okay, step on up. Oh, okay. A little bit of damage there. That's fine. Wow, our focus is one. Not great. Could be a lot better than that. I think it's the tiredness and everything. Let's take a energy drink and an energy cola to kind of offset that a little bit. And we will take some aspirin too. Okay. Uh, or oh, let's smash that body. Catch the rest of our breath. And is there any possible way for us to cast this? Too difficult. Okay. Yeah, the focus, or rather the lack of it, means that we're not going to be able to um, get extra strength. But we should still have enough to knock down this door. Okay, and there's a feral seer on the other side. Their gaze seems to stare right into our soul. How nice. Okay, so we might still be able to get away with throwing them against the wall. We will see. For shove, I mean, yeah, a 0% chance of failure. Damn, okay, we've gotten good at that. Uh, we hurl you away, but we don't do much. And oh, I don't know if I can target you through this, actually, now that I think about it. Even so, we will try, and then, yeah, now we're gonna push you back against the wall. Okay, and that did hurt you. We'll do the same thing again, slam you against. And there's only a little bit of life left in you. There we go, okay. Let's smash that corpse, continue after a break, sure. And Elliot, we have a way in and we have a way down as well. But for now, we want to focus on going up. And it looks like there may be a tough zombie ahead of us. We are seeing a tough zombie somewhere. Okay, not up here though, that's good. Let's just keep on making our way up for now. Elliot, do not, do not move, my friend. Okay. Oh, yep, no, we, we can definitely see further now. Oh, okay, all right. Now, something that we probably want to try and do is have a look for the tallest structures that are around us because they can be really interesting objects. We've got a Mego Scout Tower out here and we also have a radio tower here as well, which can really help you see quite far. Looks like that's maybe a church over this way. Indeed it is. And then of course we can see so much more of the surrounding area. Looks like there's another evac shelter here off towards the east of Frenchville. Yeah, there's that Mego Scout Tower here. And, okay, um, hmm, we can see someone from here. Atop this cathedral, we can make out someone. Walter Yi, over here by these hayfields. With her binoculars, Dusk can actually see someone in the distance there, perhaps working these fields. Now, this is somewhere that I really did want to check out, and I most certainly do still want to do that as there could be a fair amount of food here for us. And if there's a person living here already, maybe we could find some form of community there. A community that isn't, you know, miles and miles away to the east. Well, we know that we're gonna head there at some point, but for now, um, <laughs> well, for now, the Tumen Altar, oh, that's still beckoning for us. But I think before we do that, it would still make sense for us to check the bottom of the cathedral. Although, 
We have had some pretty intense encounters in the cathedral before. And uh, yeah, oh, something hits our right foot. Uh, there may be a tough zombie down beneath us here. I think that's probably the case. Do we really want to deal with that right now? Maybe we want to have a look at the other side first. Yeah, I think that might be smarter. We can see a zombie down below here. Um, let's just have a peek. There is a zombie in the way. Okay, it's actively in the way here. Right, we did take it out. Didn't manage to get through that door. Okay, we're not going to go through that one yet. No, I think we want to try and go for this one here. Oh boy, or well maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. Let's step back from that ledge because there's a lot going on down there that we probably don't want to get involved in. Let's actually just check the front of this car here. Oh, hang on. There's not enough room for you to fit in there? Really? Because of our backpack that we're wearing? Because we're not like, we're not massive. We're not a, we're not a big creature. Um, strange. Not enough room for us to fit in there. Okay, that's something that I'll look into. Uh, down the line. For now though, we've got a decayed zombie that we need to kill. Elliot, thank you for that assistance there. And now, to the west. The attunement altar. Okay, we're gonna move slow here. Also, oh, something bashed its way out of this house. Uh, probably that decayed zombie that we saw. So let's catch our breath here. Whoop, there's definitely still something in here though. <laughs> so, let's go slow. And maybe open one of these doors if we can. That's good. We have a way outside now. The Book of Mormon. All right. Need to be careful. There may be traps in here. There's a regular zombie. That's all that we've seen so far. And a lot of noise still. Oh, hi. There's more of you. Well, okay then. Dusk, go to work. And zombies, go to sleep. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Um, right. So, uh, there is a metal door there. And... <laughs> Which I think is like a hidden a hidden wall. On the other side of that, we have survivor zombies. We have we have a feral prepper. So there could actually be some good stuff on the other side of this wall. We're not going to take a chance with that though. We are just going to get the hell out of here right now because that's not our main goal. That is a sub goal. We can come back to that. Um, looks like we've got a big hedge around this attunement altar. Okay, I I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, when we start to get closer, we will... Oh, there's a Dimorphodon around? Okay, I can see it in the distance there. It, uh, it's chilling for now. Um, let's hope it continues to do so. We've got a zombie to deal with before we get all of our breath back, though. Okay, there we are. Get that stamina. And let's continue on up and in this direction. We're looking for an entrance. So far, we haven't seen one. Let's try down to the south for now. And let's turn on safe mode, just in case anything decides to jump out at us. Yeah, we don't have to do this during the day, for certain. But, um, let's just see. Okay, that's a way in. Right, that's a way into the Atuman altar. I'm half tempted to leave our backpack here, because then we're not going to deal with, um, weight issues. We're not hearing sounds right now. It's a maze of some kind. A hedge maze. Alright, let's just navigate it. I kind of want to try and clear all of it, if possible. So wind our way around here even if we think we're going to be going into a dead end because there may be things hidden here you know okay this is uh all of that side of it mapped out oh a nice little bench how quaint all right we're getting much closer to a center at this point a dead end all right backing around oh and that's also a dead end there as well okay so we've got to backtrack a fair ways here to the north we go oh there's a crow in here with us Hello, crow. Hi. Elliot, you're still with us? That's good. Oh, and there's a fox. Hi. Hello there. Um, alright, we'll let you stay up in that direction. We'll go another way for now. Another dead end. That's the front section of this maze, kind of filled out now. Oh, honeydew on the ground there. A giant aphid as well. A robin and a squirrel. Um, I'd like to just try and move around you all, if we can. Um, it's not going to be super easy to do, is it? Okay. There we go, we managed for the moment. We're trying not to kill anything here if we can. At least that's my intention. So we might not be able to explore absolutely everything. But we will try. Elliot, you made it past the bird. Good on you. Nice, okay. Well, we've cleared out a lot of this so far. Which is my intention. I'm not just trying to get to the center here. I want to make sure that there's nothing kind of hidden along some of these other paths. Hello. That's a dead sparrow. Killed by the cat. Okay, a Siamese cat. You know what? Hey, 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 hey. Do we still have it? We d we don't. We where where's the cat food? Dusk, did you eat the cat food? Damn it! We had dry cat food for so long. Okay. Well, I guess I guess we could try and butcher the sparrow here. I don't I don't think we can make cat kibble very easily. No. Okay. Damn. 
damn, damn, that's that's frustrating. Not meant to be, it would seem. Oh, well, that looks like the center to me. Um, just clearing out this last little bit here. Okay, so what what exactly do we have going on here? Uh, we have some cool candles for sure. And in the center of all of this, an attunement altar. An ancient stone plinth covered in symbols that appears to be combinations and variations of the eight magic classes. Eight depressions are on the top with the original symbols of the classes. Each look as though they can hold an item. So we have to put things... Oh, the ruins. The altar gives you the creeps. So these two could potentially fill this attunement altar together especially if they are able to learn the opposite of each of the classes so if they learn the four opposing classes each elliot will you trade with us and we will save just before we try and <laughs> trade with them okay seems fine do you still have your druid rune ah doesn't look like you do but we can get him to make one easily enough okay elliot it is druid rune time too difficult to cast a the druid rune spell really oh because your focus is one you're also in superior pain but look at your arm so much better okay let's just have a look at him uh bandage is average at the moment so we could probably do something to help with that we'll try to and he does have the bandages yeah so right arm there we go and then improving your focus that's not going to be it's not going to be easy to do you do have the mp3 player let's go play some music because that should start to help that get up a little bit higher. The severe pain is obviously making this quite difficult as well. So let's just go take two codeine and we'll also take two aspirin. And that should start to help a little bit. I think the severe pain probably came from the blank zombies. Let's just go and wait five minutes here. Unmanageable pain. Okay, that's better. Focus is slowly getting higher. Down to mild pain now. Much, much better. Okay, let's see. Still too difficult, eh? Oh, you also do need to have your hands free. Let's put that bayonet away. And uh, yeah, he's just gonna, he's gonna have to wait longer. Let's go for 30 minutes here. 44 focus. His mood is looking pretty good. All right, there is a chance that he can cast this now. There we go. You wield your druid ruin. Okay, the altar gives you the creeps. Um, hmm, hmm. Maybe you have to like cast a spell on it then. I was so sure it was gonna be something tied to the runes. Because the runes cannot use the ruin here can we just drop it on here you drop your ruin on the attunement altar the altar creeps you out let's just leave the ruin there i think or the rune sorry we'll turn off that music elliot and let's go and draw out your bayonet okay well i think what we're going to do is we're going to mark most of these as explored but we're going to leave one of them open there is more that we need to do with this it would seem well, I was hoping for more from that, but that's something that we're just going to have to come back to. From here, though, before we make our way over towards Epping and towards this field that is here, in Foxborough, we do have a dojo. It's on the edge of town. I think we should be able to get to that without drawing the entire town towards us. There's also a reasonably tall apartment tower here, but I think the major concern is going to be this mound of dirt. Yeah, it's not an ant hill. We're probably going to be looking at Dermatex. So we want to be very cautious making our way down here. We'll probably just try and go directly south, go through the forest. But first of all, we do actually need to get out of this maze. And you know what? I think we're going to try and keep things intact if we can. Uh, Elliot, are you coming with? Let's see. Uh, you are you're, you're finishing eating your smoked sucker. Okay, I see. I see. That's fine. There we go. We just cleared this little area up here as well. Just so that we know that there's nothing else there. And Dusk has successfully made it back outside. Let's get that backpack on. Okay, start making our way south. Oh, wow. Stegosaurus, four of them, beautiful. Quite the majestic sight, no doubt, for these two. Um, let's just catch our breath back before we, you know, kind of go near them. They're herbivores, so they should be pretty chill. But remember, Dusk is a prey animal. <laughs> so if there's anything that hunts at all, it's, uh, it's going to be coming for her. Oh, wow, our strength has really dropped off here at the moment. It's the sunlight that's doing it to us, really. Our tiredness, no doubt, isn't helping either. Okay, we're getting closer. We got ourselves a vehicle on the corner here by the looks of things. A few different homes. If we just kind of follow the road down, we will get to where we want to be. We've got a feral cop to worry about, though, it looks like. Let's just go back on over towards what I think is an ice cream truck. Indeed it is. 
We'll pop into here for a moment. Oh, rather, we can't. There is not enough room for us to get in there. So I know that size changes have happened recently with vehicles and whatnot. Dusk is 175 centimeters, but there may be other traits now that you're meant to have when you start off. So that's something that I will have a look into and see if I can figure out why uh, we can't enter things like that. Because we can still go through windows, totally fine. Um, okay, I don't want that feral cop to see us if we can avoid it. That shrieker though is going to make things a little bit more difficult for us though. We've got a scarred zombie down here by the dojo. Let's see if we can take that on without drawing too much attention to us. Right, come on. Oh, the scarred zombie I don't think can see us. And that is a feral axe elf in the distance there. So we're going to drop this hiking backpack right now because we want to take this matter seriously. Okay, let's take on that zombie first. Step back. Oh, wow. One good swing there takes down the feral axe elf. Homeopathic pills and a magazine. A training pistol. Okay, all very good. I mean, I'd like to take it, but the scarred zombie is kind of uh, being a problem. Let's see if we can grab it. Okay, there we go. We're going to smash that body, and we're probably going to have to kill you, right? Maybe not. Let's put the backpack back on. Oh, and that shrieker is going to cause us some trouble, aren't you? Yep, okay. Kill it. That's that dead. The scarred zombie is going to go over to where it heard that sound, but I think we're safe. Elliot, close that. Thank you very much. Now, I am really hoping that we're going to be able to find some kind of instruction manual here. That would just be the absolute best. Let's see if we've got anything. We've got a gi. That's all that we've got so far. Let's check the back room. I'm not seeing much there, but there still could be something in the desk. So we'll see if we can't crack this open. Actually, I mean, I was going to say we could try and enhance our strength. Uh, we do have we do have a chance. Okay, we're good to go. <laughs> there we go, dusk. Wonderful. Uh, but the... Here is nothing. There's a black belt. And, and that's it. Okay. Well, we'll check the roof. See if there's anything up here at all. Alas, no. There is a water heater. It's empty. Yeah. Dojo, you're no good. So next up, we got the campground. And then, of course, we have Walter Yi. Down we go. And out the front. Well, we got a bit of a congregation around here at the moment. And oh boy, flesh raptors. That's not good. Um, okay, we need to get across the road and into the house that's there. Let's move. Elliot, he is moving with us. That is good. Keep it up. Don't stop, Elliot. Keep on going. Keep on going. I know that you're there, brother. Come on. He should be, he should be following us. There, he's nearly, he's nearly in the house. He got the door closed. Okay, he just needs to keep on running towards us. Elliot, don't bloody stop now. He went back outside. Of course he did. Of course he did. Why would he not? Damn it, Elliot Wood. Dropping the backpack. Dusk gets ready to fight. That's a flesh raptor dead. Oh god, they're all around him. Dusk yells. Elliot is surrounded. Okay, let's get him. Elliot, it's time to move. We can nearly get him with far hand. Just a little bit more. Come on, brother. Damn it. We can't pull him through things. Right now, he is surrounded. Unbelievable. There's a damn semi-automatic weapon on the ground there. I think that might actually be from his backpack. Oh boy, okay. What's it gonna be, Dusk? She needs to get in here. She needs to help. Feral Cop's pretty injured. Feral Cop is down. Being grabbed by the Goblin. Goblin's dead. Oh, of course he runs. Of course he runs. Dusk continues to attack, but she is surrounded now, but that's okay. Wave of Force? Actually, I don't know if that's gonna help us because we can't really... Can we throw them into each other? We can try, can't we? It knocks one back a little bit. Can she turn and run? She can. Okay, Dusk, you need to get away now. Back towards here, get that door closed. Elliot, I know you can make it out of this. We just can't afford to continue to fight. Our leg, our leg is seriously injured as well. Come on, let's draw a few more of them back on up towards us. Fight them one by one here, Dusk. Let's do this smart. That boomer, unfortunately, is gonna be a little bit more of a problem. There we go, we can't see all that far, but that noise is gonna draw the rest. Let's just hold. Stand firm, stand ready. Elias, where the hell are you? You've got to be kidding me. Okay, he's down there somewhere. Just got to hope that he's made it inside now. Okay, we're not worried about our backpack for the moment. We just need to move over and see if he has made his way out the other side of the place. Doesn't look like it yet. We can still hear him attacking in here. We can't see him. Sounds like he's down here. We can hear him shouting out down there, okay? So that's where we're going to go. Elias, where the hell are you, my dude? Okay, there he is. All right. Dusk, draw some of the dead on over towards you. Let's give him a chance. I mean, he's looking okay. 
Slimy bastard. <laughs> okay, let's get up towards here. Dusk has been pulled away. Oh, this thing's just dragging her now. She doesn't have a weapon in her hand. She's just slashing at it with those claws of hers. It is quite damaged. We could shove it. I think we're just going to continue to try and kill it here. We managed. Let's get back towards that blade. The acidic zone is going to be a bit of a problem. We can still fight it off. Dusk, you're doing a great job. Let's get that blade in hand. Oh boy. Okay, grabbed by both of them at the moment. Let's see. Wave of force. All right, we sent them reeling backwards there. Good bloody work. Elias, keep doing whatever the hell you're doing down there. Dusk is doing her thing. And really, all things considered, we have not taken that much damage. Let's bash that window so that Elliot can get through. We'll try and see if we can lure some of the others down towards him. Okay. Finally. Elias, you keep running? Maybe. I'm going to try and see if we can call you to stay here. Because if you keep on running, you're just going to draw more and more dead towards you. That's a scarred zombie down. Okay, he's heading back this way now. Okay. I'm not sure if he's going to help us out or what. Oh boy, but we need that help. This is Acidic Zombie. We are standing in acid right now. Okay, we're just gonna have to try and kill it. Same thing with this thing here. We can't get out this damn acid. There we go. Finally, getting clear. Dusk drops her blade. Being grabbed by both of them here. All right, it's army bayonet time. Let's draw it out. Take out that zombie first. Go for this one next. Oh boy, our leg is actually okay. It's no longer a deep wound, so that somehow worked out for us. I, I don't I don't know how. Uh, Longsword, are you down here? Oh, it's on the square that we're on currently. All right. Can we afford to take a moment here? We need to catch our breath, first of all. Let's just get a little bit further away if we can. Um, maybe get inside. Get into the dark, away from all of this. Elliot, if you want to stand there, that, oh, you're bandaging. Okay. All right. I, oh, he was bandaging dusk. Thank you, brother. God damn. <laughs> what times we have, huh? That's our breath back. Elias, really do appreciate you though. Yeah, he's he's healing. He's healing Dusk. He's bandaging her. Very, very much appreciate that. Okay, let's activate our damn sheath. Put the bayonet away for now. And quick save before we try and wield the blade. Okay, it, it seems to be completely fine today. I'll take it. But my gosh, those stats. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like we might have got some things out of this though. We'll take that oxycodone. We're not gonna look at taking it just yet. We'll see what else is among all of these bodies. Not much, really. No. What a freaking mess. And yep, a lot of this is on you, Elias. We're dead tired now. We really need to sleep. Yeah, as much as I would love to continue pushing on, that ain't gonna happen. Now, where is our backpack? Where do we drop that sucker off? I am assuming it was back up in here? So that's the direction that we're gonna go, first of all. Oh, hi there. Hi. All right, let's take you out. Yes, there it is. Okay, good, good, grand. Let's put that on. And ideally, if we can get away with um, smashing some of these bodies here, that would be great. That boomer may still come for us. We will check these bodies as well. We're not gonna take anything right this second. Heavy duty flashlight's kinda cool. No, let's just step back, take you out. Take those antibiotics for sure. And we'll pick up that semi-automatic, because I'm pretty sure that was from Elliot's backpack. I think when trying to break the grab, it just started dropping things from his pack. We're in severe pain, so we will be dealing with that. And we're also going to be clambering down into this basement. Because, uh, yeah, we... <laughs> Dead Tide is not a good position to be in. Uh, not at all. Also, Elliot, if you'd be so kind, thank you. Thank you. We'll take that card. And it sounds like there are others here. So let's be ready for them. In here? Oh, it's a dog. Okay, and we do have some kind of a bike down here as well by the looks of things. Well, let's get this cleared. Oh, we've got a shrieker down here as well. How nice. Well, that's it's both of them totally dead. Got our breath back. Principles of effective communication. Excellent. And a baseball bat. I am so tempted to get the to Elliot. He is fantastic with the blade though. But yeah, the bats, the bats are fun. Wow, this is just filled with stuff. We do have a bed back here though, so we will actually be able to sleep, which is something, believe it or not, that we are going to be doing. I think we'll also take the MP3 player so that Dusk has one for herself. Oh man, um, <laughs> what a time. Um, we'll make sure that there's nothing else down here. We've got roll mats all over the place. Okay, so this place is safe. 
we can stay here. Um, we're probably going to go and drag these bodies out of here first, though. Just because that seems like a, a safe idea. Yep. In we go, Elliot. Clo oh, we, we destroyed the door. Of course we did. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. Let's go and drop our hiking backpack off for a moment. Allow Dusk to catch her breath again. And just take a moment to sit and reflect on the wild day we have had together. Whew. Here we have a chance to sit and read to study the arcane because that attunement altar what could that mean for us and how do we fill those slots i assumed that the runes would be the way forwards and maybe there is a different way to use them or it could just be that we need to cast magic on it either way we're going to want that magic but something else perhaps more important than all of that is people and dusk saw someone working the fields in the distance i know we have been on the go constantly but i will be wanting to try and set up somewhere for these two. And the cathedral was a really good spot for sure. But if there is a homestead out there somewhere that the woods can place down their roots at least for a little while to rest, recover, to build themselves up. I mean, Dusk is going to need to make a lab at some point. And speaking of labs, I do still want to go back to that original lab at some point. A vehicle would make that all the more easier. And of course, for us to fix up a vehicle, we need a good garage. And farms service vehicles all the time. So, those great big fields being our next point, well, I think that makes perfect sense. And so, Legionnaires, it is with that, I ask you all, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.